Hello, my darlings. Welcome to a special new moon reading today, the 21st of March 21. That is all about balance and new beginnings for you, my darling, 21. And, you know, 21 is considered, you know, a lucky number as well, but there's no luck in the universe. It's all you co-creating when you're in that lovely high vibration of looking forward, looking up and uh, deciding what you wish and desire for in this life. So here we are, the first, uh, this new moon uh, of spring. Um, it's an exciting time uh, for us all. And it's really... The question through this reading is, uh, this special reading for you is, you know, what do you want to create in your life now? What would you like the next chapter to be? Uh, you're on stage now. You're the central character of your play. You are both the actor, the producer, the director. There are those in the wings waiting for your instruction. What would you desire this next chapter to be of your life? Carpe Diem, seize the day now. This is a chance to let go of the past, to focus on the new, to focus on the fresh. So what I'm going to do with this new moon deck is I'm going to pull you a few cards cards from the Moonology Manifestation. And also when we I come to a bit about what intentions uh, that you should be saying for yourself, I'm using this wonderful um, Affirmators deck. But before I start, Spirit is saying to me just to pull one affirmation for this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Along with one of the pastoral tarot, which I'm also guided to use. Thank you. This reading, my darlings, is for those that most need to hear it. And if it resonates with you, my darling, you are hearing it within your divine design. And if it does resonate or I resonate as reader, thank you so much for liking this. And thank you as ever, my darlings, for all of your wonderful comments. For those of you who have subscribed, become a member of this channel. And as my gift back to you, I offer the pay what you can 30 minute online reading. So thank you, Spirit affirmator for this reading thank you very much what do you wish to bring out oh there we are that's the one nature well what a wonderful time uh to receive the nature card the nature things that are natural in our lives things that are pleasing things that happen with a natural cycle as we enter into this wonderful spring it's time to unleash your inner hippie and step outside of that man-made box and that man-made box is also the constrictions the constructive kind of perhaps rigidity we sometimes operate in on our lives you know we create these square boxes they are not natural they're not a natural form they're not a flea, free flea, free flowing form take a walk in the woods smell those flowers hug some trees you might think that you're being ironic like look at me I'm being all tree huggery and stuff but you'll find that even then those trees will hug you back Trees come from a time before irony and their earnestness is impervious to our jaded humor. If that doesn't make you want to hug them even more, well, I guess you're a robot. And trees are wonderful, aren't they? They're just this wonderful presence and they expand always onwards and upwards and they change direction and they go with the winds of change and they're connected through their system, their root system to all the other trees, always in communication always receiving and giving some forms of energy and information, the wood wide web. So go and hug a tree, my darling. This is the overriding energy as we step into this wonderful um, spring-like energy. So let's first of all see uh, the card for as you are right now, as I am right now. Where are you right now in your life? Thank you. You have a personal issue reaches a resolution. This is the full moon in Cancer. So this is something that's very emotional uh, for you. A personal issue reaches conclusion. A conclusion that in the natural cycle is in perfect divine design. It reaches a resolution. Things are resolved. Things are healed. Things are perceived to be and felt by all parties concerned. There is a sense of peace and relief in this. It's a resolution. Um, and also when we are, we have a resolution about something, when we have a resolution, we're very determined to reach that, to, to obtain that resolution, to stick firm with that resolution. It is to have unwavering faith in the process uh, by which we reach that. So I feel that you have had a sense and unwavering faith that this would situation will be resolved. It has been resolved and it is in the process of being 
uh, resolved for you as well. A personal issue reaches resolution. Thank you, Spirit. Can I have one of the pastoral tarot for this, please? Thank you. And you, they're also showing me that you have perhaps had to do things um, a little differently than you thought you might have to in order to reach this resolution, in order to reach this compromise, this resolution, because it always has to be fair. It's always fair universally. The universe is always fair, always within the spiritual laws. And you may have had to make a few sideways moves or things may have made you make sideways moves, but a personal issue reaches resolution. Um, and there we are. We have the extraordinary death card that's come out of this. This is the end of a cycle in your life and the beginnings of something really rather beautiful. Spring is showing here on the trees. The blossom is coming through. Um, you have got what else have we got in this card? We've got the little crow here just to say that within this moment of taking a moment of reflection of what has passed. You are remembering with the poppies, you have a sense of remembrance, you have a sense of um, understanding, and you are witnessing an almost um, abandonment of perhaps a rigid structure in your life, a more natural way, a natural flow of things that has come about. And the death card is a wonderful card of, of endings and new beginnings. And what from the endings do we wish to remember with love and fondness and understanding? What do we wish to take with us into the future, which is all about the growth and the blossoming from the ending? So a wonderful, wonderful card for you. Uh, let's have a look at any potential blockages, uh, anything that you're still being asked to release or let go on in order to move forward and grow. You know, what is it that that perhaps you're holding on to that isn't of any service to you now. Um, thank you, Spirit, for this reading. Thank you. So you are good enough and holding your vision. So the full moon in Virgo, you are good enough and the hold your vision, the fixed moon. Um, this is the story of make believe in your story in your next chapter. There is sometimes that little quiet voice that says to us, why would the universe listen to me? Why would it listen? Why? How could I possibly command the universe? Well, think about the fact that you are the universe. And as you are um, on this adventure of a life, and as you are out exploring and doing and saying and thinking and reacting and responding and experiencing life, you are representing the universe in so many different ways. And if you imagine yourself like the wave coming out of the ocean and receding back in, or as I like to feel it, like the octopus with all its many different tentacles, tentacles, is that the right word? Um, and it just touches something on the end of its finger and you are the pulse point at that point for what the universe is understanding, for what it is absorbing through you. So you are one and the same as the universe. So of course the universe is going to listen to you. You are good enough. You are it. You are it experiencing its self, capital letters, S-E-L-F. And when you connect to itself, that's your higher self. That's your intuition. So you are in command. And in fact, you know, we were given conscious free will to do as we desire to do. And that is part of the game of life and how we explore it and how we navigate our way through it. Um, but alongside of that, um, we have this, it's about this growing belief within ourselves that we may not be um, in control of what is happening within our life. And, and nature is a beautiful example. It's never in control, but it always responds in a very natural way to what is happening. And life always comes through from somewhere. Life always finds a way. Water always finds the surest, fastest way. That's We're made up of, what is it, 75, 80, 90% water. So, um, so, but it's how we respond to life that makes all of the difference. And if your response is, I am good enough, this is your blockage that you don't feel you're good enough, that the universe is not listening. You are the universe and the universe is picking up on every nuance of vibration and resonant signature that you're putting out there. So make it your wish, your command to hold the vision for what you have for yourself. Hold that vision, my darling. It is a very powerful, 
powerful affirmation to do powerful determination it determines where your life is going how much you hold that vision for yourself and it is a high vision it is a high vision you are good enough um and I'm seeing step outside of your comfort zone. So there is a little bit of stretching the universe is asking you to do. It's a bit like, was it morph? I can't remember, maybe in the US you're not aware of this, but there was a little um, stretchy clay creature called morph. Um, uh, it was in a children's program when I was younger. Anyway, morph used to talk, they used to do the animation of him. Maybe it's not morph so much, but it's that stretching. It was a little creature that used to be stretched. So the universe is stretching you at the moment uh, because you are good enough. You can do this. We never think we're ready for something. Have you noticed how the universe always surprises us before we think we're ready? And yet it still seems to be wonderful. And you can't fail. That's the other beautiful thing. You cannot fail at this game of life. Because within every failure that we might perceive as a failure, actually there's some extraordinary gifts within that. We might do things a different way. We might think things a different way. We might believe in ourselves a bit more. Everything is a gift. It's how we choose to receive it. So have no fear of failure. It's all as it's intended to be for you. And you are good enough. So hold this vision. Hold this dream. What is the next chapter of your life, my darling, that you are dreaming at this time? That wonderful daydream. That make believe. Hold that vision for yourself because the universe has lined up all the supporting actors for you, all the supporting events for you. But you've got to take the first step. You, and that starts with your belief in yourself, because if your resounding energy is I do believe in myself and I am ready for an adventure and I am ready to grow and I'm ready for challenges and the universe will respond with that. But if you're not ready, if you're really not ready in that you are giving out an energy of I don't deserve this, I'm not worthy of it. And the universe will give you challenges and lessons to show you you are worthy I trust that makes sense. Anyway, let's see. And I'm not even going to bother pulling. Look, the fool, you're ready. And you have loyal companions, loyal supporters with you. And there is something that you've now, with this fool card, you've, you're, you're, um, there is a sense of um, stepping into something that could be a little bit scary. You know, this, 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 this um, um, trunk, this, again, wood, um, across this river has broken but he's still he's looking back with a kind of do you know what I've done this I'm doing this I'm doing it just do it just take a step forward just start 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 the process start the process or whatever this cycle is being act as if you're it's already happened my darling you're grounded you're ready for this um, and uh, this is something that is of such nurturing energy for you. It's really here to help you grow. So there we are. Hold that vision for yourself. Now, the next one is the intentions. What intentions should you consider in setting an order to help you grow? This is those powerful affirmations and attention, intentions that you say with your command, with your voice. It is your voice to do with as you so desire. But it has a vibration to it. It has a signature to it. Tell the story you wish to tell for yourself. Do not tell the story you don't wish to tell. You don't wish to happen. Prepare for success in all forms, not failure in the limited mind form. Prepare for success. You cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong, my darling. Isn't that the freedom amazing? You can't go wrong. So... We've just been taught since we were little that we, we have to do things a certain way. We have to perceive life a certain way. We've been taught since we were little and our parents have been taught and everybody's been taught that there are certain things you do and there are certain things you don't do. Well, throw that rule book out and make a decision to do what feels right for you. That's how the universe is talking to you. What feels right for you? What energy emotion is surging through you, advising you, guiding you, encouraging you, giving you life? That's the energy to follow, my darling. That's the one. Not what you think you ought to do or what you should do. That's the difference. Thank you, Spirit. What intentions? What intentions wish to come out? <laughs> you've got, of course, you've got playfulness here. 
to play it live. Okay, so um, something I, I received yesterday, which was really quite sweet, and of course the universe has given me this. When you're looking at all the different, um, looking at your life now, and, and you're looking at all the different characters in your life, and some you may have great friendships and connections with, and others you may not have such great connections. And I want you to perceive everybody or, and what you're trying to achieve with this next cycle, cycle is within a playground of your life. So everybody is a child within that playground and think about intuitively what each and every one of those characters is doing within that playground. There's, there may be some that are um, jumping up and down with joy and, and doing skipping. There may be others that are huddled in a corner whispering. There may be some that have been a bit naughty and have been put in the corner. There may be some that are shy and are sitting in a the corner. There may be those really boisterous types. Uh, there may be those that 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 are a bit over commanding with, with others. There may be those that are very studious and sitting there quietly. But each and every one of us is that child. That child has never left us. We've just thought they have the moment we became an adult. But when we start to see in others the inner child, we start to have a much more relaxed view of life and we start to play at life a bit more. And the universe works really, really fast when you're having fun, when you are so connected and so trusting, like a child is, that everything's okay and you're so imaginative. Suddenly, things just start to happen. You start to realize just how um, how you are manifesting. Um, and it says here, I am, a, I am, I am powerful words. Whatever you put after the I am is setting your character, your your position in that play for that scene. I am this. I am that. The universe goes, OK, then you're that. And then we'll give you experiences to match that. I am a playful participant in my life. And I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. So whatever medicine you're uh, you're receiving at the moment whatever is happening for you to affect healing okay look for the sweetness in it look for what is the sweet nectar of it the gift within it playfulness have a playful approach have that wonderful childlike trust to have trust in what is unfolding but yet unseen to be faithful Full, to be full of faith is so empowering and if you were but to give the universe the smallest opportunity to present to you the gifts like Mary Poppins do you remember with all her wonderful surprises and delights and how she enchanted and encaptured and encouraged those children to see beyond so so just Bring that magic into your life. That's your affirmation, okay? Bring that magic into your life. Um, what knowledge spirit is saying, uh, what knowing, what knowledge, okay, is required is in order to manifest your intentions and desires in this new cycle that you, you're going to put your foot forward to do, what, what is that? what you know this is you being bold and big in your dreams what knowledge is required spirit thank you they wish for you to know that a new start is coming something that will change everything for a moment or two something that may appear to be something else okay so Perceive it through the eyes of the universe, not through the eyes of the limited mind that goes, oh, my goodness. But this is something that like an eclipse here almost when this is a new start with a new moon. But for me, it was like an eclipse. It's like and here we are on this new day of this new moon. It's, it's something that will eclipse everything else and be very obvious to you. But this new moon on this new day of this new moon, this is the new moon card just simply new moon, a new start is coming. And there is a shimmer of it, a glimmer of it, a feeling of it, you can feel it. And you can feel it because remember, your emotions are the first way that you are connected to source energy. Source energy communicates with you through your feelings, through your energy in motion. 
also what I've been reminded to tell you is um, to set your affirmations at this time to water and to drink the water, to set these powerful affirmations, to tell the story to the water of who you are, who it is you already are. Act as if it's already happened, my darling. Set these affirmations, set your playful state, put those powerful resonant signature words after I am and drink the water. And I'm sure that many of you know this and some of you may not, but it is a wonderful example and a showing um, an explanation of how we should always be very aware of our energy and our energy emotion, our emotions and what we say to ourselves and what we say to others as well. Because if you were to take two separate um, holders of water, okay, and dried them out. Sorry, take this has been done scientifically and I may not say this entirely right, but this is the concept of it. Scientists spoke to one, um, uh, one little pot of water beautiful beautiful powerful beautiful positive words and to the other awful words and when the water dried the patterns in the positive side were extraordinary and actually they also asked the water or said thank the water for creating shapes and it created that shape that vibration but in the negative side it was awful gnarly mess so we are impacted by energy we're impacted by our own energy our own thoughts as well you know if you're looking at um where if you think about it we never switch off do we ever we never switch off our mind never switches off so where is all that energy going think about where your energy is going where you're giving attention to is it racking up a really quite expensive bill of negative energy for you or is it producing something are you being constructive with where that energy is going so this is a new cycle coming in it's up to you it's your responsibility what you do with it how you wish to create it it's yours to do with as you so desire my darling but you have to have a response to it and you have to take that step forward so uh, let's have a look to see, um, is there anything else with this new start? Thank you. <laughs> so um, aren't they funny? Look, a new start is coming. The moon has come out and the little page of pentacles. So it's something not quite as it seems. It's something like that I said, it's something not quite as it seems. Um, but, and it might uh, be asking you to do something slightly differently, to make a, a, a sudden move, uh, perhaps moving itself physically, to move in a new direction, to, to look elsewhere, to perhaps let go of something and look at something else. But whatever it is, it's it's a new, a new start. And with the moon card here, I feel, well, this is definitely coming from source energy. This is the source of the water. It's coming from source energy. But it is to say with a little wink, Follow your intuition. Follow that quiet inner voice. It doesn't shout. It just talks quietly to you. Not the negative voice in your head, but follow the feelings. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the feelings. Trust that even though you don't know it yet, there is a completion. You do have a strong intuition. You are much stronger than you realize. This is the uh, we the, the trees here planted by the water. You have a connection to your, your emotions that are really strong. And um, there is something that hasn't yet appeared in your life. It's waiting in the wings for you. It's yet as yet unseen, but it's with a wink from the universe for you, okay? Um, and it's something that's part of your soul group, your soul family, your soul plan. It's something that is encouraging your independence, your connection with others, um, your ability to have fun, to be um, enlightened in, in a new approach to life as well, but also to not be afraid to venture out alone, to do things on your own. It's really good stuff, my darlings. Um, and uh, emerging positive energy. What kind of things are going to emerge from this new cycle for you as part of your growth and manifestation? And I'm seeing the six of the ones now on the bottom of the deck. So they're, they're 
um, thank you. They're doing instant manifestation. Uh, thank you. One card, Deep Spirit, emerging positive energy. Emerging positive energy. Now, nah. so it's all to do um, with this is the new moon in Gemini communication. Communication is key. So, positive energy that's emerging from this comes down to what you are thinking, what you are saying, and what you are doing as an aspect of those thoughts and those feelings. Communication is the key. What is a key? It's a key is something that opens a door to something else. How you are communicating at this time about where you are and how you're communicating not only to yourself but to others is very, very, very important. You are ready for this. You feel it, you know it. Start to, start to uh, act as the person within the situation that you desire to be. Act as the actor within the next scene of your life. Be that person. That form of communication is incredibly important. It is the key with which everything is going to, to open for you. Um, what else, Spirit? And do so with a calmness, but a, a blissful anticipation of you know it's going to be a rather exciting scene that's coming up ahead as well. And also understanding that everything you're having, it, it's about coming into a different perspective of things. And it's about coming into a balanced perspective of things that comes from a higher perspective, that comes from a releasing of the fears that are happening and what spirit is also saying and i will pull another card so the positive energy the emerging positive energy is you being successful if you entering into something where you are and I, i'm not going to say the word competing but something where you believe that you're worthy enough to take part in and actually coming out as a winner and it is something perhaps where it is in connection with somebody else because this is a team effort that's happening here and it is a, a, a an, an energy between you that comes from a touch a feel uh, um a justice just as there's there's not there's communication between these two is vitally important and the communication comes from trust and the communication comes from nuances and the communication comes from subtle energetic um, energy in play but there is a beautiful um, success story for your life this is the emerging positive energy but it's because you decided that you would enter into this you would enter into this let's call it this this competition and um six of wands this is success my darling let's see if there's anything else that comes out for you before i wrap this up thank you spirit ace of swords i come back to that on the bottom of the deck communication is key communication key there is no wrong or right, right way all roads lead to rome it's all leading to where you wish and desire for it to go um but there is so much growth so but enjoy the game enjoy the process of it enjoy the discovery enjoy the going backwards and forwards and oh my goodness i've got to go around and do that again enjoy the whole thing enjoy it it's not about the destination it's about what's happening along this journey that is the that is the most important thing for you with the ace of swords and um this is this vision you're holding for yourself, this vision. Hold that vision. Hold that vision as the Ace of Swords. And, and as the cat, doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about the vision for you have yourself. You and only you have direct perception of your life. You and only you know how you feel. And you probably can't express it deep enough. But that's because it's coming. There are sometimes no words, but there's always energy. So let your energy do the talking spirit is saying. Let your powerful energy now be your resonant signature. Because that's a clear message that's going out to the universe. And then you've got the judgment card. So this is a acceptance of something that has ended in your life with less and less judgment of, 
and more and more realization of what actually was not for you, but has encouraged you to move towards what is for you. So sometimes it's a little bit in a hindsight card. I understand this ended in order for this to happen. This scene of my life ended in order for these new, for this new scene to happen, for the new actors to come in. Um, and the judgment card again here with the baptism here, this, this is a, a sort of emergence of you from this situation as an energy that is incredibly all embracing, powerful, peaceful, um, and you're getting attention for who you are now because you're not who you made a decision to release. Um, how do I say this, Spirit? You made a decision to release perhaps uh, past judgments, to look back on the past with understandings and to look forward to the future with a sense of release, a sense of a new connectiveness in your life as well. And I, I, fear, I feel you found your calling through all of this uh, too. So there we are, my darlings. I'm going to finish with um, uh, one more. Thank you. And um, the thing about the judgment card is that it's also a reminder for us that there is no, as I said, no judgment within the universe. Um, there is never a judgment, it is always fair. Um, but this is a space where one is has been given situations order to encourage someone to do things from the heart rather than the mind. Um, encourage is a wonderful word, isn't it? And courage, you know, it comes from Latin for heart, but the original term courage, the original meaning was to um to do to be from the heart space not the mind space to live life wholeheartedly and with vulnerability to tell the story of your life through the eyes of self-love that's courage to live life authentically um so i know that message is uh, for somebody and one last affirmation please thank you So I've got friendliness has come out for, for this one for you. Whenever I smile, I make someone's day better. What a cool way to buy happiness for free. Today, I will remember what an awesome power I hold, and I'll take joy in, in improving lives simply by giving away grins like crazy. That's a beautiful, free, beautiful energy to give away, and you will receive back, my darling, in abundance. So um, there we are, angels. That is your new moon message. Uh, what a beautiful message that is for you. Sorry, something's just popped up on my screen and I didn't mean to do that because I was about to press pause on the thing. Um, what a beautiful message for you. Um, continue to give, continue to be in this space, continue to be open, continue to be bold, continue to be daring, continue to dream the dream. And think very carefully about the words that you're putting after I am, because your next chapter is evolving now. And it's up to you, my darling, where you're going to direct it, how that energy is going to be directed, um, how you're going to produce it. How do you want to see it and what part you're going to play in it? So um, it's up to no one else but you. And today, it starts today. It starts today. So seize the day and start with the I am. And remember your 500 million new cells you're born with every morning. Welcome them in today and say, thank you, 500 million new cells. I am this. So um, that's it. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow uh, with the Daily Short Kisses. I may or may not do the Daily Short Kisses today. This may have been um, in replacement of the Daily Short Kisses. Um, because my sister's on TV at the moment doing a show in the UK and I've been, and she's on every night this week. So I've been watching her. Um, and uh, um, however, um, if I don't see you again for the Daily Short Kisses, I will be back tomorrow morning. But I hope you enjoyed your special new moon reading, my darling. So much love to you and take care. Bye bye.